I can think of no one better than Edward Sahakian, my father, to talk us through the important factors for storing cigars. Dad, please. It's very important when you're buying a humidor, you have to consider where it's going to sit. Will it be for your office, for your sitting room, or for any other purpose? And with that in mind, you will choose the variety, the size, and the color of your humidor. And once it's taken at home, set it up. Make sure that the unit is filled with water. It's very important for the first time. And leave the cigars in the humidor for a period of four or five days. And then, after that, once a week, regularly open the lid and close it. That enables for the cigars to acquire fresh air, fresh oxygen, so as they're fermenting and as they're maturing, they become better and better. You may not always have the ideal temperate climate of the United Kingdom. You need to consider the relative humidity of the ambient, the temperature, and the ventilation, the movement of air in the local area that your cigars are being stored in. If you're somewhere where there's high humidity and high temperature, clearly you'll need air conditioning to reduce temperature and also to maintain relative humidity between 65 and 72, depending on your personal preference. In other climates where it's very dry, you will have, of course, the more traditional issue, which is adding humidity to raise it to the correct level and stop the cigars drying out. My father has that experience quite regularly between his travels, where he has to adjust how he's looking after a absolutely, cigar. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> so always consider the local climate and the ambient climate before deciding on the correct way to store your cigars. If you're unsure, always ask your trusted cigar merchant. Once you have your cigars stored in a proper humidor, cigars can last for many, many years. I've seen cigars which have been in proper humidification for over 25, 30, 35 years. And all that happens to the cigars, they get better and better and better. Any cigar that you purchase from your favorite cigar merchant, it will be ready to be smoked. It will give you lots of pleasure. However, if you have the facilities, which is a proper humidor, you could keep it for much longer and it will improve with age, it will mature, it will ferment. And as long as you look after your humidor, your humidor will look after your cigars. When you want to check on the status of your cigars, the condition in the humidor, you want to be sure if they're in the right condition. Of course, you can invest in technology that will monitor relative humidity and temperature. That's not always perfect, and they often decalibrate. Trust your fingers. Touch your cigars. Feel them. Give them a little squeeze. There should be a firmness there, but not too much give. Just the right level, and you will know that your cigars are in perfect condition. The traditional woods that are used in humidors for cigars used to be cedar because of its sympathetic aromatic qualities with regards to cigars. However, it's not the only wood. And on the internal lining of Davidoff humidors, there is a beautiful West African tropical wood called okume that is used and lacquered internally. It's used principally because it's a hardwood very resilient and has no negative aromatic qualities that can affect the cigar. Whatever wood you're picking, ask your cigar merchant or humidor manufacturer for the specifications and check with your trusted merchant to know that it's the right type of wood.